There's a couple fracture tests for the lower leg that y'all need to know. These are primarily really uh, looking at issues with the fibula. If they, again, have a fractured tibia, it will be pretty obvious and there's not really any special tests that are needed. And so really we're looking at full fractures or stress fractures of the fibula for these particular tests. And one of the things that you're also going to notice is that some of the names of the tests are the same throughout a lot of the body. So the first one we're gonna talk about is the squeeze test. And for this test, you're gonna take the heels of your hands and put them one on the fibula and the other on the tibia and then interlace your fingers. And if I think she has a distal fracture, I'm gonna start proximally, wrap around and then squeeze them together to see if and when she starts complaining of pain and if I can feel crepitus or anything else. Also, if she has a syndesmotic injury, so one of those high ankle sprains, what's gonna happen is if I squeeze here and she has a syndesmotic or uh, her tib-fib ligaments, the distal ones or inferior ones are hurt, it's gonna shoot pain going up her leg to the point and it's gonna stop about where the injury has stopped. So this works for fracture tests, stress fracture tests, and also high ankle sprains or syndesmotic injuries. Now, if I think that she has a more proximal or superior fibular fracture, instead of starting right where the fracture site is, I would actually start down here in the distal part and then work my way up to see if I can feel it. And often what you're going to notice is that if they have a true full fracture, you're going to feel the two bones or the ends of the fibula pop against one another. So true crepitus or your patient is gonna report pain um, or popping in their leg. And so those are some of the things you're gonna look for. Another really super easy test to do is called the pound test. And all you do is dorsiflex their foot, just have them nice and relaxed, make a fist with your hand. And then you're gonna take the fist and not like try to hammer in a nail kind of thing with it, but you're going to hit the bottom of their calcaneus and that's gonna send vibrations up their lower leg. So again, if they have a stress fracture, and it could be a tibial stress fracture, a stress fracture in their fibula um, or a full fracture in their fibula, that should cause them to have pain in those particular spots. If you think that they have a calcaneal fracture, I would not do that test, just FYI. I know we're not talking about the foot, but just to throw that in there for you. That test will not, though, be positive, or it shouldn't be positive anyway, if you have a syndesmotic injury or high ankle sprain, because vibrations don't hurt soft tissue, they only hurt cancellous tissue, so bone, when we're looking at these things. So the squeeze test and the pound test are going to be your two best clinical tests to do to look at fractures for the lower leg.